here we go. Well, hello there, you beautiful, beautiful, amazing, wonderful people. I hope you are all well on this fantabulous, fantabulous, fantastic, funky, frisky, freaky Friday. This is video two of three, because we started off earlier in Ada County, Boise, Idaho. Here, we're talking about Jay Slater, because Warren Slater has... He has confirmed that the account on TikTok is his. Told you, didn't I? Told you. Did you trust me? Did you? Be honest. Yes. He has done a little short video that says, just to confirm, um, this is in fact my account. This is my account, which we're going to touch on in a minute because I'm going to say something that may split the room, upset a few people. Um, he has also gone on to confirm that the keys that he found were indeed down the rapids, which, you know, we kind of know that. Um, now, I, I, can't, I can't watch down the rapids myself. I can't do it. But I'm pretty sure that someone said to me that down the rapids had confirmed that Warren Slater had gone back to Tenerife. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure someone said that he said it. If he didn't, I'm not saying he did. I'm saying I'm pretty sure someone told me that he did. And that may have been now why when people questioned about the key scenario, why he was deleting videos and deleting comments that questioned it. Find that a bit odd. But again, I'm only going by what people have told me. This isn't first-hand information. This is second-hand information. But a few people giving me the same information, if that makes sense. So not just one, several people. But anyway, so yeah, he's confirmed. He's also confirmed something else. He has confirmed that he has not returned to Tenerife since leaving following Finding Jay. So he is not in Tenerife. The footage that we are seeing is old footage, not new footage. So the obviously the questions around the roadworks and all of this, I told you again, did you trust me? Did you? Did you trust me? Said that we'd seen that before. Yes, yeah, so this is old footage. Which brings me on to my question. My question is, what does Warren actually want? What does he want? Because look, we've got a scenario where we've got Jay Slater sadly losing his life. And we're waiting for an inquest to be completed which could take a long period of time i'm not talking about weeks months i'm talking potentially one two three years even down the track that may be that long before there is a conclusion from an inquest perspective it's going to be difficult because the death happened overseas and the inquest is taking part in the uk and i've seen other cases that i've touched on over the last few weeks where the inquest has literally taken years but anyway, that's by and by. The issue that I have is, yes, so we've got a situation where Jay Slater dies abroad, comes up, he's repatriated. Apparently, we're still waiting for Jay's organs to be returned. I don't know how accurate that information is. It seems to come from Debbie saying that they still were awaiting further repatriation costs. And this is something that concerns me. Um, it concerns me because... There's multiple stories where there's been deaths in Spain and there's been a separation of organs and the deceased and that has caused problems by way of the families not knowing that this happens. Now, Spain has been a bit of a pioneer for organ transplant. They have this situation where they assume that if someone dies that they're a donor. So that has massively ramped up their organ donation percentages. They're like, they're, they're like one of the leaders in terms of how many people donate their organs for organ donation. And I've spoken to multiple people who have lost family members abroad in Tenerife, around Spain, Barcelona, and they have turned around and said, we had issues with our family member where their organs went missing. And... Spain has also come under some scrutiny over this assumption to um, to donate organs. And they're trying to say that you can't just assume. There has to be a process set in place where people get to choose. And yeah, so 
What I'm trying to say is that this organ harvesting, this organ trafficking situation, um, it's almost like there could be some truth to it, there could be some accuracy to it, but perhaps not how we're seeing it. Because again, we've heard how the, the Spanish government, for instance, tried to put off the slate of family um, seeing him and it makes you kind of skeptical as to what that reason was was he really so badly affected by decomposition that they were able to extract fingerprints but his family couldn't kind of see him and say yeah that's jay who knows that's by and by but yeah anyway i don't know why i went off on a random tangent there um, about organ trafficking and stuff but look Jay Slate, I just, Dad, I don't, I don't understand what Warren is trying to do. He's, the, in one hand, people are saying we want the, the talking about the case to stop. We want the conspiracy theories to stop. Um, that was the first post that he put up there about people not talking about it. Don't talk about it, we prefer just, but, but subsequently he has gone on there and he is uploading a video that is an old video, which is almost, it, it did did it do what he wanted it to do? Because what it did, it, it reignited the case. It reignited the conspiracy theories because it had the dad of the deceased very specifically being at that B&B &B and questioning the narrative, flat out calling the narrative bullshit. So it makes me question as to whether Warren is genuinely questioning the narrative. Because if that's the case, if he's genuinely questioning it, if he genuinely doesn't believe it, then he's got to understand that by putting a video out like that and calling it, calling out the bullshit, you are throwing the likes of Ayub Kasim under the bus. Rocky. So Rocky and Bullwinkle, they're done. They're under the bus. They're flat. Flattened by the bus. Cheers, Warren. Bosh, have that. You've then got Lucy, you're, flat, you're flattening Lucy, Lucy's done. You've Brad, Brad, he's literally going, Oi, under the bus, under the bus, under the bus, because all of these people were involved in the story. Not only that, he's throwing the likes of Chris Tenerife under the bus. Wash, there you go, boss. And do you know what I mean? He's the, he's got to appreciate that we can sit out here and we can speculate. We can say we think this, we think that. But like this channel, like Wax's channel, for instance, what we do, we look at what's out there and then we react to that information. We bring it to you. We tell you whether you, we think that's right, whether we think it's wrong. In video three later, I'm going to be touching on the medium. Because this case is solved now. Anyway, keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, I don't, I don't understand what Warren wants. Because... We sit here and speculate on the information that's been passed out there, and Warren Slater is the father of the deceased who uploads a video and basically throws every fucker around this case right under the bus. So is that what he wants to do? Is he trying to tell people that, look, this ain't over, we don't believe it, there is more to this than meets the eye? Or is he doing what he states that he's doing, and that is just making a record of what he did? Because he could have put any footage up there whatsoever. Any footage. He literally puts the one piece of footage out there that states that the narrative is bullshit. And that comes with repercussions. What does he want? What do you think he wants? Let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next one.